Evan Ginsberg here with Legends TV. And the theme that we just played is the music of Cooley High. And Cooley High will be joining us in just a bit. And this is the 40th anniversary of the death of Bruce Lee, as you can see right here. And we're going to be talking to uh, Cooley. Cooley's a martial artist, and he'll tell us a little about how Bruce influenced his life and how he influenced all of us. And uh, we, of course, have Edwin Vasquez Musica, our house band and my co-host Steve Ludwig. And Steve, I know you have a uh, big radio show coming up. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, thanks, Evan. Uh, it premieres August 6th. It's called Steve Ludwig's Classic Pop Culture. You can get to it from planetludwig.com. Uh, being you mentioned it, I appreciate it. I want to thank my buddy Tony DeMarco from ANS Comics. Uh, he's sponsoring the show, and I really appreciate that, ascomics.com. But we have a lot of... Um, I have Little Anthony, one of my guests, lined up. We have uh, Bob Calsill from the Calsills, mm. author Essie Hinton. She wrote The Outsiders, great young adult alt author, a question mark from question mark from the series. Yeah. So, great showman. I saw him Oh, live. my goodness. Awesome. I, I spoke with him on the phone. It was like uh, we He's kind of like Little Richard, very flamboyant. That, yeah. <laughs> very, it's like the Mexican Little Richard. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks, Evan. Looking forward to it. August 6th is the premiere. And PlanetLudwig.com, right. they can get all the info. That's right. TV, radio, teaching. You're an educator as well. I'm an educator. What, uh, do, you take, uh, what do you take on the uh, media's assault, the demonizing of teachers? Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's handy. You know, it, it makes a good story. But unless you've taught, unless, unless you've been in education, it's nothing like what you read. I mean, teachers, I work with some of the hardest working people, and we're just, uh, there's never, lately there's never a good word about us. And then with a, like any other public employee, we're so hardworking and much maligned. Millions right. and millions of great, devoted, 
educators, and you get like one one teacher's dating a student, and they pigeonhole everybody. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like ridiculous. like anything else. You know, we're always told as teachers, don't punish the whole class for something that one person does wrong, and yet the media is punishing the whole teaching profession for some bad apples. There's bad apples in any, every profession. And you have some poor uh, teachers struggling to survive in Wisconsin, and they imply that's the downfall of the American economy. Not the bankers, not Wall Street, not the uh, corporations. No, no. It's the school teacher's pension, and guys clocking right. 40K in Wisconsin. It's yeah, they, they don't bail the teachers out or other public employees, but the bankers, they got the free pass. Before I forget that this is an entertainment show, yes. let's, let's go to Edwin Vasquez Musica. And Edwin, uh, you, you just had a gig yesterday in 100 degree heat. What was yeah. that like? Well, my lungs were physically hurting me because I'm asthmatic. And uh, there were a few times uh, I think James uh, sustained me. I was about to fall off the stage. But uh, other than that, it was all right. You know, we were sweating bullets. I made my own puddle. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alpha looked like Tom Jones. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, but, uh, That's not unusual. Yeah, that's yeah, oh, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he can sweat. Sometimes it's so unusual. Yeah, that's true. He can sweat. But uh, we had a good time. You know, uh, the group was there. We had, at one point even, we decided that uh, we would take it off stage and make it very personal. And we got actually in the midst of the audience without amplification and played right there. Wow. And everyone came around. It became a very beautiful experience. You it know. became a EVM, Edwin Vasquez Musica. I would say EVM unplugged version. I would say yeah. even a stage is an altar. Oh, it was awesome. Right. It was yeah. So, so right. Awesome. And tell yeah. the listeners a little about that. Well, the stage is an altar, man. If you're, if you, if you come and experience this show, you're gonna experience more of what the stage is an altar about. Is about we uh, we started it out at Gizzy's. It's basically it communicates oneness. It communicates what it is to be an artist, in essence, in heart. And uh, we deal with all kinds of issues. We kind uh, situations that deal with ageism, gender. Um, we try to break the boundaries of stereotypical uh, perspectives in the industry. Stages and altars about all of us, and about these incredible musicians that are here. You're going to hear some of that tonight. I mean, today, as we perform, because uh, we got Cooley High, which I'm so excited, man. Yeah. This guy's incredible. I'm honored to share the stage. We are all honored to share the oh, stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With him, me and Alpha have shared the stage with him in the past. And um, it's a great experience. And, uh, and James are excited yeah. to do wait. the same today. Um, uh, and that's a little bit of stages and altar there, because this is going to be felt, improvised in the moment, very present, in the now. That's right. And the stage is an altar is a documentary project as That's well right. that we're all working on. That's right. Yeah. And um, yours truly was the associate producer on The Wrestler. And yeah. uh, my more recent film is uh, Teresa Sario Alive Again, featuring Gary Sinise, a That's documentary right, yeah. that's out on DVD. And we, um, we're excited about this project. You mentioned ageism. Obviously, you guys are not a boy band, oh, so yeah, yeah. why is ageism an issue if guys are great musicians? I think because uh, the stereotypical uh, idea of what sells, you know, and I think we should give the audience an opportunity to decide for themselves, man. You know, and I, I invite the audience, personally, I think we all do here, mm -hmm. not only with this show, but just among yourselves to to experience your own taste. Don't let the media, don't let commercialism tell you what you should experience. Open your ears, open your hearts to what you want to experience in life. Life is once. Take it in, because you're going to find there's a lot of beauty. Buena Vista Social Club, you know, uh, was a hit in the late 90s, I think, and the early uh, 2002 around. Yep. And the college uh, crowds were just thrown back, you know. But that's because uh, we you get artists like that. Uh, that was Ry Cooter, I think, right? Who, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brought that to the surface, right? Yeah. And then you got... Uh, and B.B. King. B.B. King. Another guy. Oh, buddy, yeah. Buddy Guy is another one. Chuck Berry's still out there, Chuck 85, Berry. 86. Right. Little Richard, yeah. Jerry Lee Lewis, they're all still out there. Yeah, Paul McCartney. The Paul Stones, McCartney. Yeah. yeah, all these great artists. You got, you know, Tony Bennett, he actually, he, he said that. He believes in the younger audience. It's just a matter that they haven't been exposed 
to this. We do so many performances, and a lot of these, uh, these, these uh, younger artists are so excited about sharing the stage with us. Yeah. And this is because we've always opened our arms to everyone, right, Alpha? We've yeah. Always been like, it's, it's all about the spirit. It's not, age yeah. doesn't really mean a thing. Yeah. It's the soul that's conveyed out there, and, and, and the honesty of, of the performance, and age, you know, it could be five or 500, doesn't matter. And we'd like to acknowledge Madhouse TV for giving us this forum and for giving artists the worldwide forum. I mean, uh, they have shows all day and all night and uh, all week, and uh, they bring some amazing artists that might not otherwise be seen. So Madhouse TV is you know, doing their part as well, and it's true. we're happy That's to right. be part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of being part of something big, next Saturday, the 27th of July, we have a launch party the Legends TV at Red 58, which is at 158 West 58th Street in New York City from 6 to whenever, 11, 12. And Edwin Vasquez Musica, Oliver Sean, who's an international artist, will be right here on Legends TV next week. He'll be there. Lanny Poffo, the genius, a uh, wrestling legend. He wrestled Hulk Hogan on Saturday night's main event in front of 4 million plus people. And he beat wow. Hulk Hogan that night. Count that oh. ringside. Wow. Good memory. Really? <laughs> yeah, so hope we we'll uh, talk about that next. Week. That's all right. We'll be talking about that right here with Lanny Poffo on Legends TV next Saturday. And um, Edwin, why don't you tell the listeners how they could get in touch with you guys and uh, book you for gigs and yeah, yeah. all of that good stuff? Well, first of all, as far as gigs, we're open to everything: weddings, corporate gigs, you name it, we're there. You know, but uh, you can contact either reach me through my email, Edwin Vasquez. Musica Gmail, or, and I, we're working on a website right now with the help of uh, Giselle Trujillo. And um, uh, I would say Edwin Vasquez Musica online, you pretty much can reach me, find me easily. And when I say me, that would be us, Alpha, Pete. We're Jones. all on Facebook also. Yeah, or on Facebook. Yeah. So, you know, you can definitely reach out. We're still working on the website. We're going to have it ready for you very soon. But uh, for now, please reach us there, you know. I know, the internet. I know on legendstv.net, all the Facebook pages for the guys in the band are on there, too, so they can just mm -hmm. go to the links. That's right. That's right. Thanks, Thanks, yeah. Thanks Steve. Hook yeah. up with the guys. And I know Steve is a huge music fan, and especially of Guitar Heroes. I know you have a question or two for the band. Oh, well, a question <laughs> or two is putting it lightly. Yes. But um, well, first of all, e even before I say that, you know, you guys... And I say this in the best sense of the world, uh, a word. When you guys are together, you're nuts. I mean, you get along so well. And you're, oh, yeah. How long have you known each other? And, and how did you meet? I mean, it seems like you've been together for years and years and years. Wow. You have such uh, a great rapport. Let's see. Uh, That's an interesting story. In well, interesting story, yeah. <laughs> well, well, all right, we have to point. Let's see. Uh, Oh, okay, he's got a camera. It's like a mathematical <laughs> yeah. equation. Yeah, it is. Edwin and James you know what know each other for, for like 20 plus years, and me and Pete same. know each other for about yeah. 30 years. And wow. We know each other collectively for seven months. We met James, me and Pete met James seven months ago. You guys meet in school? Uh, no, Alf and I played no, in another yeah. band years ago. And uh, Edwin and James also played together years ago. Yeah, yeah. And somehow the stars aligned and we came together. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's fate, beautiful. Fate we're together. seven months old, basically. As a, yeah, as a it's unit. beautiful. Yeah. And you know, it's so funny that we're, we're here in, this is an awesome studio to begin with. Uh, Madhouse is an awesome studio. We're very happy to be here because of, you know, the people in charge here all, are so much about the art, and we're working together, Evan Ginsberg, and to make, bring this to you with their help, and we're, we're very thankful. Right now, they're tolerating us as far as cameras, because there's a few cameras here. <laughs> we're looking here. Yeah, I'm looking that way, then Tom is waving over here. Look, oh, wait, wait, I could help Tom. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> this is tricky, you know, you got the mic here, you got the cameras, you got to make sure you, the mic, the sound. I got business. no makeup to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy, just yell out, <laughs> over here. I could use a little makeup, though. But. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, See, now we, we understand. We <laughs> yeah, yeah. And personally, you know, personally, I want to thank the supporters uh, for Edwin Vasquez's Musica. It's, oh, my God. I oh, mean, yeah. you, all you guys are yeah. incredible. Thank you for the support. Yeah. Uh, we all thank you. And yeah, I Joe, know what. Joe yeah. Colangelo, Ooh. your Mexico TV. Yeah, and uh, then uh, Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia Flaco 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 Coquito. Our families. I mean, yeah. Our families, yeah. 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 No, we have stuff. so much, so, so much So many support. people on board. I mean, if you guys, please, I don't remember everything. So why, why, don't, why don't you talk about that briefly, the support that an indie band needs to sustain themselves. Tell them what's involved. What's, 
guys, I think you would agree it's about the people, man. It's, yeah, people. you absolutely. know what I mean? Faith, Definitely yeah. like Madhouse, Evan, which we're privileged to work with, Steve, and all these incredible, art, incredible artists that, that work and collaborate with us. But for this show and for everything we do, it's the people, man. You, I believe you're the power behind this show, behind the music. You can take all of us to that next level by coming and, and, and always being, you know, just showing your support to the show, to us as artists. It's all about you. That's what I think. The people can make it happen, man. We and did speaking it. of music, you're like walking music. Show, show oh, us yeah, yeah, what I, that I, is. Yeah, what yeah. is that? Yeah. Does he have a thing on his foot? No. Yeah. Hey, and sing me a little bass line, bro. Boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom. How's that, Tom? Is it deep? Hey, cool, a little rap over there. Is there a, is there a name for that? Zipper. Yeah. Yeah, it's called improvisation. <laughs> no. Is there a name for that? <laughs> yeah, no, I often forget to take the bell off, and James is on my back, eh? Yeah. That, <laughs> you take that off already, like yesterday? Yeah, he walked in the street with it, gone to the car with it, got in the car with it. Kind of like my cat. You know? uh, answers the phone with it. <laughs> Had to sound like an old Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah, you know, I, you know that's yeah, that, that, you know, yeah. Thing. Yeah. 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 Hang them hard. New meaning to bell bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bell yeah. bottom. Yeah. Yeah. The time and yeah. yeah. the only half the time you can't do it. I mean, right. how many gigs did we do? You and I off of what? I was a metronome. Oh man, too many. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like. You know, no, we did like how many gigs? That oh was God. the metro. We didn't have a hundreds, percussion. hundreds, yeah. You know, so you know, then I started picking up the percussion. I don't know if you guys see me now uh, with the congas and the doombeck, and I thought I was going to be stuck with that, man. But thank God for B. <laughs> so if you listen closely just now, Alpha said hundreds of gigs, thousands of hours. That's why you guys sound as great as you do, because yeah. they say it takes five thousand hours to do anything great. Yeah. 5,000 yeah, hours, yeah. and that's exactly where you guys are. And these so. guys are new, though. These yeah. guys have so we're getting there. We yeah. still have a lot more they time. They still got it. another 4,000 or <laughs> yeah. 4,500 yeah. 4, hours. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 There isn't an app for that. But they're doing great, though. These yeah. dudes are like, you know, it's like, when well, we worked, like, how many years ago? We, it was 19. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We don't want to get the other numbers in 19. Right, right. <laughs> I and before, it seems like these guys have been playing for years. I mean, they're so together. When you have a unit, and the unit becomes one, mm -hmm. it, yeah. it brings it. Anything in life that is one becomes stronger. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, that's our approach. And it's happening. It works. It's happening. And uh, collaborating, perceptional, it's getting together. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's always, uh, wow, there's always more room for learning. Obviously, we learn every day in, in anything, in anything you do. But um, this is how it's become. That's why uh, we look tight and all this, because we are. We are. We, we created ourselves as a unit of one. Sure. You mean I'm looking firm, I'm looking tight? Oh, you look yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And before, oh, yeah. before we go to our commercial break, Edwin, we want you to tell us very briefly about the video we're about to see. Oh, the video. That, that was uh, put together by a uh, uh, yes, hard French name. Man. But, uh, oh, God. Was oh, Oliver. Philippe. No, not Oliver. Oliver did the uh, ballerina. Uh, oh, video. okay. But um, uh, about has, uh, it's has cambiado. It's one of the songs from the CD. And what does that mean in English? Has cambiado means you've changed. It's a hard yeah. wrenching song, actually. It's pretty heartbreaking. But it's it's uh, the piano is played by uh, Mark Karminski. You know, and uh, it's a beautiful tune. It is. If you know Spanish, if you don't, just send me an email. I'll, I'll send, <laughs> send you the translation. translation. Yeah. So we're going to see that right now, cool. and when we come back after the break, we're going to be with Cooley High. So uh, check out this great video, folks. Fantastic. Has cambiado, ya no me veo en el espejo de tus ojos. 
has cambiado Ya no me buscas, no me llamas, no me esperas Ya no me cantas, no me sueñas, no te inspiro con poemas Has cambiado y se ve que ya me tienes olvidado Solo recuerdo una cosa del pasado Me hace daño que esto llegamos Has cambiado Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1 800 Injury Law. Huntington Toyota, the experience of a lifetime. Don't take our word for it. The experience for me at Huntington Toyota made me feel very comfortable. It's their professionalism, their honesty, and their integrity. I've bought at least nine or ten cars here at Huntington Toyota. They give me the best price around. It never was about high pressure. It never was about them. It was always about us. Today's cars are very similar, but Huntington Toyota is very different. Huntington Toyota, where it's all about you. Like so many people, are your finances tight lately? Afraid to open your mail or even answer your phone? Well, take heart. You don't have to live like that. 
If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you can join the thousands of folks who have used safe and effective government-insured reverse mortgages. The government-insured reverse mortgages from Long Island's Senior Reverse Network allow you to stay in your home and turn equity into tax-free cash. Our government-insured reverse mortgages can eliminate mortgage payments, credit card balances, or just improve your lifestyle. Do yourself a favor and solve these problems now. Call the Senior Reverse Network and our advisors will answer all of your questions about our reverse mortgage programs. We've helped scores of senior Long Island homeowners like you who now enjoy a worry-free retirement. Get the financial security and peace of mind you've dreamed about. Pick up the phone and call us at the Senior Reverse Network now to set up a free consultation. Call 1-800-985-REVERSE. That's 1-800-985-7383. All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with Evan Ginsberg's Legends TV, co-hosted by Steve Ludwig. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank ABC Movers and Shakers, ABC Movers, ABC Mover Shakers .com, who are helping us with our big launch party next Saturday night. And Steve, you have a thank you as well. Yeah, well, I mentioned uh, my good buddy Tony. One right. Comic book store, but they sh ship worldwide. And that's ascomics.com. Really appreciate his sponsorship with my radio show. There you go. Thank you. And we are back with Cooley High, who uh, is not only a hip-hop artist, but he's a producer, he's a radio host, he's a film editor, he is a true renaissance man, my buddy Cooley High. Welcome to Legends TV. Thank you for welcoming me. There you go. And tell us what's been new with you. How's... Uh, How's Bonfire Radio and uh, your radio uh, show doing? Yeah, um, Bonfire Radio and uh, my show in particular, Cognac Time with Cooley Eyes, doing pretty well. Um, we began uh, broadcasting January uh, 3rd of this year. So we're about seven months running, and we've garnered a really great momentum, a, a lot of good listeners, live and uh, archival listeners, and um, we're doing pretty well, there pretty well right now. It's busy, <laughs> That's but it's great. pretty good. And tell us about some of the guests you've had on the show. They're pretty eclectic. Yeah, um, some of my guests, uh, Cody Mundy from um, <coughs> Creole. Dr. Buzz's uh, original Savannah band. Um, I've had uh, Oliver Sean actually um, did a call in from the UK. Um, I've also had Nairobi Salah, one of the um, slam uh, poet Queens of, I believe it was 2009. Um, she was a guest on the show as well, and uh, it was quite a few others, actually. You know. That's good. Yeah. And, and Tasty Quiche is the other Tasty half. Tasty Quiche is my partner with Bonfire Radio. She does her Tasty Quiche uh, TK in the AM morning show um, three days a week, and she's a, an amazing um, host for a radio show. She actually does a talk show. I'm more of a music show. Right, right, right. <clears throat> and um, she's a talk show, and actually you and her have similar lineage being on uh, WBAI back in the day. That's right. I was on so, BAI for 16 years, some of the yeah. best nights of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she made her transition and doing her own show, so to speak, and she's doing really well right now. And my radio mentor, <coughs> Fred Giobold from WBAI, he used to say to me, radio is a blank canvas, and you decide yeah. what to do with that canvas. And you know what the trick to radio is? Let the guests talk. Absolutely, 80-20. 80 20, that's 80, 20. right. Yeah. <laughs> they talk 80%, you talk 20%. That's yeah, basic. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, Cooley, I know you're a martial artist. Tell us a little about that. He wasn't supposed to tell anybody about that. <laughs> Wait a second, I better move over. <laughs> no, 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 not on my I want to get you upset. <laughs> Touch the finger. No, um, <laughs> actually, I've uh, been training in the V Honest Jiu Jitsu system. Um, big shout out to Professor Mahali Bathia. Um, who's our chief instructor of the school. Um, I've been training since 2000, and I am a first-degree black belt under the system. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's, I love it. I love it. I love the discipline. I love the whole idea of putting your mind over matter and pushing your body to limits that you don't even think you can achieve, but you can. And speaking of martial artists, this is the 40th anniversary of Bruce Lee's death. Yeah, and, I see a little uh, guy sitting there. Unbelievably, on the left there. <laughs> July 20, 1973. How yeah. fast 40 years goes. Tell Absolutely. us what Bruce meant to you. Man, Bruce, um, 
Bruce's energy um, was just beyond mention. Um, his determination and perseverance through the adversity of just doing film here in the United States and teaching martial arts, which was more, more so just a way of life. It was a, a discipline for a lot of youth and that sort of thing. And, you know, despite the adversity from his homeland, he still strived to do the right thing. And um, Bruce is definitely an icon in my book. And we were talking earlier about interracial marriages. My, my wife is Korean. Um, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, when Bruce Lee was married to Linda, that yeah. was pretty shocking. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was groundbreaking, actually. Yeah. And um, that was part of the problem Yeah, yeah. At, that, at, at that time in society. Um, people weren't ready for it. Yeah, yeah unbelievable. Yeah. So what, what projects do you have coming up? Well, um, I'm going to be working on uh, a couple of different projects. Actually, I have an uh, animated uh, comic book that I'm currently wow, working on. Wow, now you're at the com This guy's a renaissance man, wow. comic books. Yeah, it's a, um, I'm finally putting the word out there. I'm releasing a uh, space opera called The Dev Quincy Chronicles. I'm not going to give you too many details about it, but the audio is all done for it. And um, it's basically a 30-minute story of a space mercenary going through his final missions. And um, he's a normal guy, but he has some issues, and he does what he does. Uh, currently, there's artists that are working on doing a comic book for the audio. So it's going to be like a, a, motion, it's a still motion movie to DVD that'll be alongside the you know, audio version and the physical comic book. So that's going to be really entertaining. I'm also exec producing a young lady who just recently signed to my record label. Um, her name is At Last. Big shout to At Last. She's going to be releasing her album, Hieroglyphics in Crayon, pretty soon. So um, those are some of the current things that I'm working on. There's a, quite a few others, but i got to keep the lid on those for right now. And uh, you are not only a hip-hop artist, but a producer as well. Tell us about some of the people you've produced. Well, yeah. Um, I produce songs with Homeboy Sandman, um, uh, Ty from the Bush, who's yeah, also he's awesome. one of your guests, um, Top Dollar Rise, uh, At Last as well. Um, Oh, gosh. I, I, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot in my head, yeah. And what I have experienced personally with indie hip-hop is it's very positive, very socially relevant. Yeah. Uh, it's not like the commercial stuff, which is all about materialism and sexism. Not always, but generally a lot of the, the commercial stuff. Yeah, we do stuff. talk a lot of crap sometimes. No, no, I'm saying <laughs> the, the indie hip-hop is generally much more positive, it seems. Well, it depends on perspective. I mean, you got good and bad in every different circle and, you know, direction you go. And it doesn't mean that it's not an indie hip-hop as well. It just means that, you know, there's not a commercial backbone or background behind the music that we're putting out, which is why it's called indie hip-hop. However, um, there is still the good and bad. There's still a lot of the uh, crap talk and, you know, the machismo, okay. the bravado thing going on with it too. So, I mean, some of us just do different things. And you've done jazz and R&B as well. You're not limited to hip-hop? Right. I, I produce a lot of jazz. Um, and through my label, I've, I've released jazz albums. I've released uh, um, house albums as well through uh, one of my other co-artists, uh, L. Blend. He's also under the label. He's a house producer, and we do a lot of work together, um, and as well hip, as, as uh, hip-hop. And they always say that James Brown, George Clinton, Roger Troutman are like the DNA of hip-hop. Am I missing yeah. anybody? Um, no, it's pretty... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of us, sure. but those, that's pretty much the starting point right there. Yeah. 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 And what I find amazing is, speaking of time, it was 30 years ago that I saw guys like Africa Bambada in the clubs starting a lot of this stuff. Yeah. So people are always surprised, like a middle-aged white guy might appreciate hip-hop, and uh, you know, but this goes back 30, 40 years already, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah um, Approaching another anniversary of it, and um, you know, from its humble beginnings, uh, we, as artists, hip hop artists or rap artists, um, we have a lot to be thankful for, um, because those humble beginnings, those, you know, little mishaps here and there, is what caused the whole multi-million dollar market to open up for oh, us. Oh yeah. So um, you know, we're thankful. By the way, Africa Bambada's record collection, forty thousand records, is being displayed publicly now. In like yeah. a museum setting. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. wild. Yeah. It's wild. And big up to Cool Herc as well. 40,000 albums. I, I have about 2,000, and I thought that was a lot. So. Yeah, that's 
two thousand is a lot. Man. My house looks like a Jewish deli. You've been there. <laughs> I've autographed albums all over the house. So uh, framed. Anyway, oh, anyway, man. Cooley, uh, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna see a, a video of yours. Tell us about the first video. Yeah, um, it's called Capital Greatness. Um, it came off the heels of someone saying that I was a great artist, and I thought about it, and I said, you know what, I've. W I've seems like I've waited a long time for someone to actually say what this person said. And I mean, I've received accolades over the years. Um, but this one particular time I thought about it, I said, you know, all this time you're waiting for somebody to call you great, why not call yourself great? Why not pat yourself on the back if you know you're really good at something? If you're a great basket weaver, you should pat yourself on the back and say, you know, I'm great at this. This is my thing. And um, that's pretty much what Capital Greatness came from, creating your own greatness. And you know what I'd like to do, because um, I know you and uh, Edwin and the crew want to perform shortly. Yeah. Why don't we show both your videos back to back? Uh, that's followed by Stash. Tell us very briefly about that. Oh, yeah, Stash. That. Stash yeah. Um, is a song from my latest uh, LP, uh, Futuristically Speaking. It can be found on iTunes. Great. And um, Thanks, man. Yeah, really. And Stash is one of the singles that was released off the album. The video is pretty much like a collage type of video. It's a lot of different things that are visually displayed that goes along with the words of the song. And it's very cool um, and very um, respectful to the ladies. Okay. And quickly give us your uh, website and how people could get in touch with you. Yeah, you can get in touch with me by reaching your hands out. Yes. <laughs> now actually, um, you can go to my website, that's C-O-O-L-E-H-I-G-H.com, coolyhigh.com, C-O-O-L-E. H I G H dot com. Okay. And so, there you can find everything Cooley High. There you go. Two videos by Cooley High, followed by a live performance by Cooley High with Edwin Vasquez. It's going to be hot. Don't go anywhere, folks. Hot. Universe is kicking it back to me in a 360 motion circular leverage inertia hope that i'm not hurting your cerebellum if they play your whackness on the radio please tell them that it's not worth your dinero and it's not worth my either i need to take a breather from the abnormal semi-formal tonal of attire who inspires to be dire i'm straight my now nah, fight with fate but how much more will it take no debating what some people really want to concentrate hold up wait this is heavy 57 chevys and a couple levies spit confetti at the ready willing able disconnect the cable from the fables turn the table flip a script and whatever that it is maintain business creating my path because you arriving too late i'm preparing what they ask me what the fuck is this Inside my mind, I am a king. I got it manifesting via blessings in the vocals that I'm bringing forth. Divorce and three course meals for that seven up, down sideways. And I regularly blaze from my angle of attack. Signature all on the track. How's that for the apples? One pair, many hats said I wear. No hair, I don't care. I got that savoir fear with the masses. My music is my passion. Trash in your talk, cause the path that you walk in is now outlined in chalk. Or the left borderline, cookie crumbling, you're humble and experience. I'm serious. Confusing you, delusional, illusionist Kinda sorta straightforward, drink water Think more than most hosts, coast to coast Post, make a toast, post it on your blog Make your head nod to the rhythm Like you big the nation, intoxicating with the greatness Mushrooms, 
cloud effect nine times brought her back to life and death. Oh, increase within every breath. Oh, releasing the levies from the backseat of a yellow Chevy. Bye. 
Express Bay car on Yes, y'all, you don't understand the kind of the joints that I'm kicking. One time I'm splitting like a chicken. 
nigga lick it good If the hood what's necessary should be The joint that you learn Cooley hobby rockin' is joint and strict burn On the wreck and on the track, yo Come through with the ill type of facts So if you still tryin' to figure out who I am Yo, just ask, I'm Cooley Cooley, Cooley, Cooley Yes, you know what I'm saying? Cooley hop on track and don't delay it One time on the mic is no playin' Yes, y'all, we be dragon slayin' On the record, come through while I'm smacking. Cooley hobby rockin' this joint, it's no whack Type lyrics, come through while I'm shaking. Rappin' the bones, nips, and spirits That I be drinkin', thinkin' About the next line sinkin' The river, come through while I deliver Rupturin' the livers Like straight up liquor, goin' down the rain Cooley hobby rockin' this joint Slippin' down the drain like drain, no, oh no Cooley hobby rockin' this ill type promo Freestyle flow, yo Yes, y'all, you don't want the stall like a Berlin and Wayne Floyd Fall out of the sky, you wondering why C double O L E to the high Yes, y'all, you know what I'm saying Cooley high on the mic, there's no plan Epic is bird, yo, what's the word? Steven Love, wait, yo, what's the deal? Cooley high rock joint, tight feel I'm feeling good in the hood Dear Park, yo, Madhouse TV One, two, three, E, you see me On the microphone, I chill it like I own it And I go sip Corona In the middle of the bar, Cooley high rock joint And I'm going bad far I go on the course and I play above par Cooley high be rocking the joint and hardy hard That means I get my life on constantly Cooley high rock joint so viciously Like what they said back in the day Cooley high be rocking this joint, I don't play Every once in a while I come through With that ill type of lyrical come through One, two, three, four, one is this coming through your front door With the ill type of lyrical and raw Style like sushi If you come close you better not lose me Because you want the whole Cooley high rock joint cause I keep it cold If you still trying to figure out who I am Yo just ask I'm Cooley I'm Cooley, I'm Cooley, I'm Cooley